Yeah. That's why I was about to ask him where he was. I need to talk to him. So Megan, this is obviously a very big night for the UFC. Just tell us how much you enjoy being at this and kind of celebrating the sport and the great moments that we have. Yeah, I think it's so important because I think our sport is so much about looking forward and we have events almost every week. So we don't give a lot of time to really dwell on these great moments. And I think that's what tonight is about. I mean, Dan Cormier, look at his career. Like, oh, from Strike Force alternate to double champion to this incredible broadcaster. Like, did we ever really take a step back to think about all that? Probably not as much as we should have. The same thing with Khabib. Um, so I think that's what's so special about tonight is we get to pause and really think about the people who helped make this sport what it is today and their efforts aren't unnoticed. And I'll allow you to cheat on this question, but who's one fighter you think needs to be in the Hall of Fame? Who's not in there? Okay, so here's, here's my thing. I pitched this to Sean Shelby, but I believe there should be an all WEC year. I think that there have been so many pioneers um, from that specific organization. Uh, obviously, I believe Joseph Benavides should be in there as he helped create and keep a division alive. Um, but I, I do think that the, the WEC, I mean, look at you have names like Cowboy Cerrone, you have the Diaz brothers, Carlos Condit. There are so many people that came from that organization and, and it gave life to these smaller weight classes, especially in North America, where they maybe weren't given a home that often. And I think if we could have an all WC year, maybe an all strike force year, I really, that's that's my pitch. So fingers crossed. That's good, <laughs> Obviously the Hall of Fame is just a piece of the puzzle of International Fight Week. Because yes. it's going to be capped off on Saturday with just a stacked UFC 276 card. You'll obviously be a part of that. Yes. Just being part of a broadcast, seeing, a, seeing a, a card that is stacked from start to finish like that, what is that like for you? How exciting is that? I mean, every card genuinely, and I, I know it sounds like cliche to say, I love every card and we get excited as soon as we know, okay, we're about to go live and we hear that countdown in our ears. But this particular week makes things really different. They they, they feel more special sometimes because they are they are stacked from the very first fight all the way through and because the fans love this week so much, you know, a lot of people make this a tradition that I think you almost feel their passion a little bit more in the building. And you guys know, Vegas crowds are typically late arriving, but I feel like on International Fight Week there are more people here earlier in the night because they understand how many great talents there are from the beginning to the end of the night. So I just, I mean, it just feels magical sometimes. Honestly, we look at each other every once in a while around the octagon and we'll be like, can you believe we're doing this? Like, this is, this is what we get paid to do this. <laughs> What's the most intriguing storyline on Saturday that maybe enough people aren't talking about? Well, I think the Sean and Alex fight is really interesting, and I obviously the press conference today helped. But I, I do wonder if people understand that we could very well see the next contender there, and there is a great storyline, should it be Alex, and there's going to be a great lead up, should there be Sean, and obviously he's on a great winning streak, Alex has proven, you know, from kickboxing to MMA, he doesn't have a problem coming over to, to this side of the world, or the sport I should say, um, so I do think that one is a really interesting one to watch, and I love the pay-per-view opener, I mean, Pedro versus Sean, I just think is such a great one it's the first time sean o'malley is fighting a ranked opponent you know and i i think people love him so much that you know he's a guy that seems to always rise to the occasion can he do it against a ranked tough veteran who has proven to be a tough out for anybody he faces i i think that one is a really great storyline as well thanks megan